Did you guys know that Caymus boats came out with the new catamaran? Well, this right behind me is the 34 CT, just released at the Miami International Boat Show. We did a quick walk around there at the event, but we're finally gonna get our opportunity to go offshore with it. So we're gonna put the drone up in the air, do our walkthrough as we do. Comment below, let us know what you guys think throughout the video. All right, so what we're gonna do now, we actually ran offshore. We're gonna run the boat a little bit, see how it does with the twin V10 400 Verados. For those of you that are gonna ask, this is single lever mode. So what you can do is actually click that button on the throttles, move this one out of the way, and you control both engines with the port throttle alone. That allows you to put a little bit of pressure here without having to hold the throttles up top. And with a cat, you usually wanna tap the trim a little bit, just depending how the boat's running. So we're gonna see how this thing does. Let's go. Okay, so we have Raymarine Electronics on this boat, pulled up the vessel view for the Mercury. That gives us how many gallons of fuel we have, our RPM, and then we got a mile per gallon up top. So obviously, we hold 436 gallons on this boat. We got about half full at the moment. And what the V10s are known for is that powerful low end acceleration. I'm barely tapping the gas. And we got up on plane in nothing flat. So I'm gonna hit that port side trim a little bit. and we're off to the races. Cruising at about 40 miles an hour right now. What Elkins is telling us is that you're gonna be at about a mile per gallon. So one thing Elliot was mentioning, which seeing is true, pretty much anything from 30 miles an hour all the way to wide open throttle, you're gonna be at about one mile per gallon. We're doing 1.2 right now at 33, 34, and we were at 0.9 doing higher speeds. So it's pretty nice that you can cruise at higher speeds and pretty much stay at that one mile per gallon range. And it's a characteristic that we notice is pretty common with the catamarans. One thing Camus integrated into the bow is a bit of a sneeze deflector. So these cats, it's inevitable that they have a little bit of that sneeze when you hit a large waves, maybe that following sea, but they have a little piece in there that actually knocks it down. So you don't notice any of that up here on the boat. All right, so I'm giving it a little bit more juice just to see what it can do. And this is more than enough power for this 34 footer. 46 miles an hour, we're still doing about a mile per gallon. Bump it up a hair more just to see what it feels like. And yeah, these 400s push this thing very well. You don't need any more power than this for a 34 this size, my opinion. Let's go ahead and walk through the Camus 34 CT right now, starting at the transom. Like we mentioned, we got twin Mercury Marine V10 400 Verado outboards, capable of speeds on this boat in particular of 60 miles an hour, and a one mile per gallon cruise more or less from 30 miles an hour all the way up to that 60 pretty much. You got a platform down the middle with the ladder, I'm sure that drops down. So you're able to climb easily through that centerpiece and walk your way up this staircase into the boat vertical rod storage right back here, a 70 gallon live well down the center of the transom. And you have the options of having two 25 gallons, one on either side, which they have on this boat in particular. On top of that, in regards to live well space, you can see this insulated and macerated cooler right here can also be turned into an in-deck 60 gallon live well where they have a drop-in bucket that's a circular design. And you can do that on both sides if you were to opt for that. 
pop out this piece. You can see they have storage for buckets or whatever you like to throw in there. And then this is a pullout piece that gives you access to the bilge. You got your hooker sea chest down there and hooker pumps. Easy to get in and out and do the maintenance you need to any of that stuff back there. And obviously you have that both port and starboard. Right down the center of the transom, you have a pop-up bench seat. Makes it real comfortable for friends and family to cruise around. And then obviously if you're gonna do some fishing back here, you can get it out of the way and it's like you don't have anything there. It also creates a bit of a toe kick, which makes it real comfortable to get up to this combing boaster if you're gonna do any sort of fishing. We see a lot of JL Audio speakers throughout this boat, as we do in most. Sound must be tremendous on this. As we hear, this one is loaded with pretty much every feature that comes on this 34 CT from Camus. You got the port side hole door and has the ladder integrated underneath. Actually pull that out and that's a great way to get in and out of the water. Or if you're docked up, this door is a great way to get on and off the pier. You got fresh and raw water wash downs. As you can see on both sides, and you got horizontal rod storage underneath both sides of the cap. Come on this way to the leaning post. You have a frigid, rigid cooler with at a touch of a button. Pops out just like that, turns into another seat, and obviously an excellent cooler from frigid, rigid that holds ice for like a week. Now put that thing back out of the way. You got some storage for your tackle, pliers, knives, anything you want there. More vertical rod storage, cup holders, Gemlux hardware. You got your white powder coated piping right here and more vertical rod storage and a little door, I assume if you're gonna do a second station on this boat. Something they did that's real nice, their fuel management manifold system is right here so you can get in. They got two tanks, 436 gallons of fuel overall and easy to get to depending on which tank you wanna pull fuel from. So underneath the cap, you have some storage, fire extinguisher. We stuck our flip flops in there. Nice place to get things out of the way. And then on both port and starboard, you have tackle storage under here. Holder for fluorocarbon, things like that. And we'll jump on the other side to take a look at that. Here we have the port side. Pop this open, you got a nice drawer. More Plano box storage. And then on this side, they put trash, which is always nice to have in a boat. And another fire extinguisher. You can never have too many safety products on your center console. Here at the helm, they have a slight little bump up to make it easier to see over the bow. It's actually a well-sized console. I'm not a tall guy and I can see perfectly well over this. Nice enclosure with a little opening to kick in a breeze if you would like. Got your Mercury throttles, Edson wheel. You got your vessel view here, Raymarine MFDs, 16 inch. Your switch panel here to the left, Mercury joystick and your JL Audio head unit. Let me pop this open. Little storage off to this side. You got your VHF up here and additional storage on this side. Actually, to round it off, you got some beautiful Release Marine helm seats right here, which are also adjustable if you want to slide them forward or back. All right, so you got some breakers right here, easily accessible, and then underneath access to all your batteries and a battery charger, which is nice to be able to reach them here if you need to get to anything completely out of the way and not taking up space inside the console. Camus did a nice job of getting this piping up and over the console, which allows you to widen the actual piece of fiberglass, giving you more room for electronics, storage space within, and it doesn't impede in the space you have between your cap and that console. They have a really nice looking V-piping aluminum, nice design, oversized hard top, and they created these boxes to be able to integrate JLL Audio speakers up in that top. You have your Gemlux outriggers as well, which are easy to get up and down and deploy from under here. And you can see they're all set up for a nice day of fishing. One thing you always get with these cats, which we absolutely love, is a ton of storage. Check out the size of this box right here midship. It is absolutely massive to be able to store, you know, gear, running long trips. You can get everything off the deck and tucked away with ease. We'll open up the console head. So you have enough room for, for the toilet. You got tons of storage off to the left here and then access to the fuses, I believe, off to the right. So we have more horizontal rod storage or gaff storage here, both port and starboard. And check this out. It's deceiving. The actual top of this hatch is not huge, but when you open this thing up, you got a tremendous amount of space in there. Nice finish work underneath all of these hatches as well. 
You've got your gas shock making it easier to open, and then it's all gasketed here to block water from getting into those dry box spaces. You can see you have a nice 15 degree angle from what it looks like on this vertical rod storage area here, cup holders underneath, nice lounger. Then you pop this thing open, check out the size of this thing. Up on top of the hard top, you have two Lumatech razor lights, which cast a great beam of light. You also have a FLIR camera. So at night, this thing shows your path as if it was daytime. You can record, it has a tremendous zoom to it. So a really nice piece of equipment to have on your boat if you do a lot of fishing or traveling at night. Then you have your open array, Raymarine radar up top and anchor light behind that. I personally am a fan of having wide open spaces to be able to run around, fish or just any sort of activities. But if you're gonna integrate seating up here, this is a really cool way to do it. So just pop this out and again, give yourself additional seating so you can hang out at the lounger, open these things up and have an additional entertainment spot here in the bow. But if you're gonna do any fishing, just drop these out of the way and it's like they were not even there. So again, you have a bit of a casting platform, if you will, up here. Storage, both port and starboard, these are unfinished to be able to maximize the amount of space that you actually have in there. So you're not gonna be able to keep drinks cold or throw fish in there, but you have a lot of storage space. And then here in the center, we have our anchor locker with a windlass. So this makes it real nice and easy. You got a through hole uh, windlass system there, so you don't even see it from up here. Out of a push of a button, you're dropping the anchor, lifting it up without having to use, you know, the muscles, which can get tiring after a few spot changes out on the reef. Okay, so now after running the boat a little bit, I personally love having twin engines and not getting into three or four if I can avoid it. So the V10 400s have definitely pushed the capabilities, getting into a almost 11 foot beam, 34 foot center console and be able to run 60 miles an hour with twin outboards is phenomenal and having that kind of low end torque is, is excellent. So you get the mile per gallon, the, uh, the fuel economy, the performance on you know, a pretty large platform for a 30 foot, 34 foot center console. And what I've always told people, there's no perfect boat, whether you like a monohull or a catamaran, they, owe, they both have their pros and cons. This one definitely has a bit of a learning curve, just like any cat working the trims, but after a day of running the boat, just like on uh, some of the others we've been on, it's amazing what the benefits are on the performance and how this thing just cuts through water and rides like a magic carpet. So we've become big fans of the catamaran. Obviously it's become a big part of the market. So we're glad to see that Camus bumped into it. It jumped into it with this 34 CT. There you have it, our full walkthrough of the brand new Camus Boats 34 CT down here in the Keys at SD Marine. Comment below with any questions you have. We'll do our best to answer them for you. If not, we'll direct you with someone who can. Like, subscribe, we appreciate all of it with you guys. My name is Alan with Center Consoles Only. We'll see you again soon.